23.5 grams of mixed carrot gold. Got some dental feeling, fillings, some poured gold ingots, and a bunch of other crud. Time to incort this and refine it. 42 grams of some copper and silver. That's what I'm gonna use to incort this. It's about a 50-50 mix. Now the reason why we incort this is so the gold here will be more dilute so the acid can get into it and dissolve the base metals out, leaving behind a gold sponge that we will refine. I've got silver, gold, and copper. We're gonna melt this up with the torch, pour it into some shot, and we will get it on the nitric acid boils. Here we go. If we were just to try to dissolve the gold in nitric acid, the acid could not eat through the gold and it would leave the acid pretty much useless. So that's why we add the silver and copper to help the acid eat through and leave the gold behind. Well, of course my phone overheated, but there's a look at the gold, in quarter gold. I've had a lot of people ask me where I get my chemicals, and it's AMB Prospecting. So, it's time to get refining. Now, you saw me melt up the gold, copper, and silver. That's all here in this jar. There was about two grams of junk gunk. Uh, that stayed in the crucible. So we have 64 and a half grams total of incorded gold. We're going to take some nitric acid. This is almost 70% concentrated nitric acid. And we are going to add about 150 milliliters of distilled water along with 150 milliliters of nitric acid. And what that's going to do is going to eat in through the incorded gold. Now, if we just used the gold and the nitric acid, it would not be able to dissolve the copper and the silver and the gold would not, you know, be able to be cleaned up as effectively. Matter of fact, if you just put gold with nitric acid uh, and water or just nitric acid, it's not going to do much. Uh, so that's why we encourt this material with some sort of metal that will be dissolvable by the nitric acid, thus copper and silver. Uh, the copper is a great color indicator uh, and the silver also helps just kind of eat through it a little bit quicker. Silver doesn't require as much nitric acid to dissolve, um, and whereas like copper requires, I believe it's four or five times the amount of nitric acid to fully dissolve in through uh, the material. So we use a combination, uh, typically you use like sterling silver or something like that, that has, you know, eight to 10% copper and silver content. Uh, I will be, if I remember right, I, I melted this probably week or two ago. I think it was like two weeks ago. Um, I put about 20 grams or so of copper, about the same in silver. So it will take more nitric acid than normal. It is very hot. It's about 110 degrees out back today. Um, so my phone will overheat if I leave it on a full time lapse for a while. So what I'll do is I'll dump this uh, nitric acid distilled water in here, cover it, cook it, and we'll do that, those boils until there is no fume production and no color indicated uh, by dissolving from dissolving this material. So we're gonna get on the hot plate, start cooking this stuff up, and we'll catch up with you when we get through this process. I'm gonna go ahead and add the nitric acid here. I might need to open the other bottle that I've got because this is almost empty. Open the other one. As you can see, we already got dissolving going on. Let me open this other bottle of nitric and top it off. And as you can see right away, we got a bigger boil going. And this will take five or six, at least five or six nitric acid boils to dissolve the base metals in here. And it will take several hours. So you'll probably see this later on at night and into tomorrow. Nitric acid boil number one.
All right, nitric acid boil number one is done. That is some mean stuff right there. Let me tell you something. It's dark green. Pretty much all the fumes are gone. There's a little bit of fumes still going. Now's the point in time when I ask you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Go ahead and pour this stuff off. Okay, pedal. All right. Nice and tight grip. Pour the stuff off. Get it back on the hot plate. Looking good, looking good. Some more distilled water gonna go in. And some more nitric acid. Nitric acid boil number two. You always want to pour acid into water, not water into acid. That's mainly for boil or uh, splashes. You do not want this stuff to splash you. So this is the third nitric boil and we have very little color showing in there. So what I'm going to do is save this dilute nitric acid because there's still active nitric acid in there. I'm going to save that for another refining I got coming up. I'm going to get this wa washed and rinsed out and do at least one more boil. It might be two more till we don't see that color and then we'll pull it off and may even get to dissolve that gold tonight. Pop the top off here. Hard to maneuver with the camera right in front of me, but we got it. Okay, I'll pour this in. And those fumes coming off are just from inside the bottle. That is an old thing of nitrogen. It's 
what I used to start these washes. I had a little bit left in there. Gold is starting to really look good now. Okay. Get some water on this stuff. And this will be nitric oil number four. We got zero color, zero fumes. We're ready to go to the next step. That means all the copper and silver have been dissolved out of the imported gold, and it's ready to be dissolved for the first time. Went ahead and poured that last nitric oil off, and I'm gonna put some hydrochloric acid with a little bit of nitric acid to dissolve this gold, and start the aquaresia. So here we go, so hydrochloric acid. It's really old and it's a little bit yellow. Time for a new one, that's for sure. And there's some, obviously there's a good amount of nitric acid in that material already. You can 
see the reaction started as soon as I poured this in. Get that to calm down a little bit. Okay. And this will dissolve the gold. Aquaregia dissolving our gold and we'll let this run. Alrighty, Aquaregia has commenced and uh, completed. As you can see, there's nothing left in the bottom of this beaker. We'll pull it off the heat, let it cool down, and we'll drop it probably in the morning. Or tomorrow. All right, this part's pretty crucial here. Of course, this is the filtering, first filtering here. I'm gonna pre-wet my filter so we get a good seal. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour, pull this caloric acid through the filter. I put some ice, just regular tap water ice in there. And what that does is it drops any of the silver chloride that may be in there or possible any contaminants out. I do see some, a little bit of cloudiness and that should clear up after we pull it through this filter. Definitely got some gunk down in there. So, I'm gonna filter this stuff off. It's pulling through really nicely, really easily. There's just a little bit of stuff there at the end. Spray this beaker out. And that is looking mighty fine. There's the filter. Got a little bit of stuff in there. You can kind of see, like right there, that junk. Getting that out. And you can see how clear that solution is. No more cloudiness. That's what we want to see. There we go. All right. All right, we're ready to drop the gold. We got some sodium metabisulfite by stump out, bonide. I'm gonna drop the gold here. That was pretty. Oh yeah. It looked like that got it, but I'll do one more for good measure. Yeah, that's it. 
Let's go get some stannous chloride testing solution and verify that we've dropped all the gold out. Look at that metallic gold on the surface there. Let me go get that testing solution. We'll see if there's anything left in there. Got a piece of filter paper right here, and this is stannous chloride testing solution. What this is is hydrochloric acid with tin dissolved into it. And when we get the solution here on the paper, which is colorless here, which is a good indication that the gold's all been dropped out as well, this will react with any gold present on the testing paper and turn black if there's any gold left in solution. It looks like we dropped all the gold out. So I'll let this settle, pour it off, wash the gold, and we will re-dissolve it. Went ahead and let the gold settled out. There's our gold, a little bit on top, just some little floaty pieces that would not really add up to much. Gonna pour off the solution into this flask, wash it a few times, and then I'm gonna re-dissolve this gold in some hydrochloric acid and nitric acid for a second filtering, or excuse me, a second refining. I will go ahead and filter that again and drop it out again. So I'm gonna repeat this last process that I did one more time. Double refined gold. Here we go. mud I'm gonna do a little bit of boiling on this try to rinse most of the chemicals off and then uh, redissolve that's what's up next all right time to redissolve this gold to redissolve this gold. Go ahead and put a little bit of nitric acid in there. At this point we want to use as little as possible and that will work really quickly as you can see. Should make pretty quick work of that. And I'll just let it cook here. And we're ready to go. I've boiled off any excess nitric. There was a little bit extra when I uh, topped it off a little bit. And as you can see, it's reduced in volume and there is no fumes being produced. So we will cool this off, filter it, and then drop the gold out again using SMB. And we will be left with our gold. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this through the filter. Get it wet first. That create, helps create a little bit of a seal. Got some tap water ice in on the gold to cool it down.
works. I'll go ahead and pull this chlorolauric acid here through the filter. Iced lemonade, anyone? I see three little crumbs that got dissolved out here. Or that uh, got caught, I guess I should say, in the filter paper. Not really anything besides those that I can see anyways. When we were to go, if we were to go melt that first batch without re-refining it, that would have been caught up in the gold. through and show you what the filter looks like there's our filter there's one little piece of junk there's another and it looks like there was maybe a little bit more silver chloride in there some white fuzzy stuff not a lot but it would have come through if we melted that gold on the first batch so I will get this transferred over back into a clean beaker and we can drop it out I'm gonna go ahead and drop the gold once again, Stanis chloride, or excuse me, <laughs> once again, SMB, sodium metabisulfite, to drop the gold and precipitate it out. It's hot out here, I clearly can't talk properly. Here we go. last couple two gold drops have been very beautiful this one and the one before it is just cool looking one more should do the trick there we go that's all of it Yeah. Oh yeah, there's the gold. Right there at the bottom. Chasing it around there. Anyways, there's the gold drops. I'm gonna put this on the boil, the hot plate, and boil it to help it settle out. And then I will wash the gold with hydrochloric acid and then distilled water. And then we'll be ready to melt it into some buttons. Gold settled out. Now I'm gonna pour this stuff off in my gold refining waste container. I'm gonna wash it with hydrochloric acid, boil it, wash it with distilled water a couple times, boil it, and then I will have the gold cleaned up. Not gonna film that. You guys can already seen, have already seen that before. But I will show you what the gold looks like when I'm done. Did our washes with hydrochloric and do a couple water boils. The gold is looking real, real good. There's a look at the mud. Gotta let it dry out. Kinda wanna get a weight on it before I uh, make, make some buttons. Melt them into some beautiful pieces of gold. We are set up to melt. Use the gold powder. Oh, a little bit of moisture in there. 
I am hoping for a yield of 13 grams at least. That's what I'm going for. I'm gonna melt them up into some buttons. Freshly glazed melt dish. And I got the GoPro so uh, my phone doesn't overheat. I'll put this into a time lapse and show you the gold when I'm done. There's our gold buttons. We got four that are a little over a tenth of an ounce, and then this was 1.5 when I weighed up the powder. Sure. Let's see what you got there, Lilo. Show me. What is that? It's gold. That's right. All right, I have not weighed these buttons up yet. There is still a little bit of borax that I will dissolve off using sulfuric acid and water. Oh, you want to weigh them individually, huh? 2.97. So there was a little bit of moisture in there. A little bit of moisture. 5.9 total. 8.8. Shooting for th about 13. 11.8, can this put us over the edge? 13.2, man, that was pretty close math. Like I said, there is a little bit of borax on the buttons. So we'll dissolve that using sulfuric acid and water and I'll re-weigh them up after I get that cleaned up. Nice. Got the gold all cleaned up from the borax. 13.175, hit our number.